Hi, today I was, thought I was going to give you a, a tutorial on how to do lettering. It's being done in Photoshop. Uh, of course, you could do it in Illustrator, it's just the same thing. So you see me here adding the first letter, changing the color to white. And then we simply position that where we want it, get it in the right size, add a new layer. Position that again, and then make sure that's the, the, the right letter. In this case, we're making a sound effect that says whoosh. There we go. Duplicate that, get the second O in there. That's good. Duplicate that again. Make that an S. And then position it correctly. Duplicate that once more. And then we got a whoosh sound. Put it in the right place. There we go. Whoosh. Okay, now, oh, let's put that right there. Good. Now we're selecting all these layers that for all the letters and we're merging them. They become rasterized, of course, and we're adding a stroke. We're going to do an outer stroke, 10 pixels, black. Well, we got something going on here, but let's duplicate that and, and make it a little bit more fancy by putting a yellow stroke inside. So yellow. There we go, that's a nice color. Okay, now we want to add a gradient there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose the lightest color in the wish in, 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 in the image. Now one of the darker colors right there, so we get a nice gradient. Select the upper whoosh and then pull the gradient through there. There you go. Now we want to move that entire effect. Of course, we've got two different layers, so we're going to select those two layers and create a group from them. So we can simply get the group and then move it along as we need to. Now we're going to do something a little bit extra. We're going to make the shh disappear. So I'm going to create a path that's curved with my path tool. Yeah. Then I go to the text and I position just right there so that I can put the text along the path. And now the text is curving. Now because we want to make it fade away, we need to change the sizes of every sh sound. So we're changing it to 36, to 30. We're moving it, and we're, we're still making every letter a little bit smaller. Oh, that's not right, there we go. 24, maybe. You get the idea, we're adding a little bit more to that so that we really see it disappear. Good, there we are. Now we gotta give that the same kind of effect as the whoosh sound. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to the layer style, copy the layer style so we get the exact same stroke. And paste that there. So we're getting, so let me go straight for a second. Yeah, paste it there so that we get the black outline. Then we're gonna get the yellow outline as well. We're gonna add that to it, paste that layer style. There we go, there's some yellow and it's perhaps a bit heavy for that small of a text. So we're making that a little bit smaller. There we go, six pixels, that'll be good. All we gotta do now is add the gradient. Let's rasterize the top layer, select it, draw a line, and there we go, we've got the gradient in there. All we gotta do now is, is make a group of these two layers so we can move them. So let's go do that. There we go, I just merged them together because we don't really need them separate as a group. Put them in the right place. And there we are, now we can move the entire thing by selecting everything and move it in the right place.
And that's how we get that wushan going. And that's really just how you let the sound effects in the book. And this is the final effect after I tweaked it a little bit more. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy that. And don't forget, on our channel, you can read free comics. There are video comics. They're easy to read on your mobile phone, your iPad. You can also go to octanecomics.com and find some PDFs there so you can read them as a PDF comic book. All right? Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.